following video will demonstrate how to branch files from the development branch in Perforce and then how to configure source control using the Visual Studio Perforce plugin. So first we locate the Tracelab depot in in the depot tab. Uh, after that we select the development folder and right click on it and select the branch option. Uh, once we have the dialog open we're gonna select the destination folder which is going to be located once again in the trace lab uh, depot inside so we're gonna select the branches folder since we don't want the files to be copied into the root folder we want to create a subfolder so in this case we'll name it test branch uh, after that we can click preview to see the the changes that are about to be submitted as we can see there's going to be uh, more than 6,000 6, files branched uh, no errors and no integrations so since everything looks okay we can click on branch and perform the operation once the operation is completed we can browse into the branches folder and see that our new uh, folder has been created and that all files has been copied and we can actually open the dev folder and see that we actually have the same folders and pretty sure exactly the same files and also if we look into the workspace view we will see now that we also have the test branch created inside the branches folder next we are going to fix the bindings for the trace lab visual studio project so for that we proceed to our newly created test branch and go to the trace lab folder and browse through the files until we find the uh, tracelab wpf solution file and uh, double click to open it in visual studio once visual studio opens we'll get an error saying that source control cannot be found so we're gonna click ok on that and visual studio would is gonna ask if we want to work temporarily without source control or we want to com uh, completely remove source control so for now we're just gonna temporarily um, remove source control so we can actually fix it so once uh, the solution is open you're gonna proceed to the file menu source control and then we're gonna click on the change con source control option in here as we can see the status for all the projects is uh, not control so that means that the each one of the projects is not connected to the to the perforce server so it's not under source control so for this all we have to do is first select all the projects or we can do it individually and then click on the bind option this is going to ask uh, for our perforce credentials so we just have to verify that everything is correct just click OK and now as we can see the status for all the projects has changed to valid so that means that the the source the solution is now under source control so we're gonna click OK to actually accept the changes and we're gonna a perforce is gonna ask us to uh, check out these files to actually modify them so we're just gonna click on check out to perform this operation as you can uh, notice on the right column there's some files that uh, has a right uh, uh, red check that means that those files were modified with the the previous operation so visual studio is asking if we want to protect the files that has been uh, modified so that basically means that it's gonna 
keep track of which files have been changed uh, inside the program so it can actually not overwrite them from the server so we're going to click uh, be sure that we select the protect option and just click OK once that operation is done we're going to proceed to close TraceLab and uh, go to Paraforce to actually submit the changes that we just made uh, as always I mean as we can see in the in our default change list these are the files that were modified inside Visual Studio so we w what we would like to do right now is right select the change list right click on it and select the option revert and change files and that's gonna remove the files that were actually not modified during the operation so we're not gonna you know we don't want to submit a new version of files that were actually not modified and lastly uh, these uh, the the changes that were made to the solution file are actually not necessarily to to be submitted so we're gonna right click on it and uh, select the revert option he's gonna uh, perfect is gonna ask us to confirm that we want to revert the files and yes we're gonna revert by clicking on the revert button now so we want to confirm that our changes actually are working we're just gonna once again open the solution file for TraceLab and as we can see once the solution is loaded now there's no warning from Visual Studio saying that the that the source control is not working we're gonna go to the file menu source control and change source control and as we can confirm here the status for all the projects is valid so that means that the source control is now working we're gonna click cancel since we don't wanna mess up anything and we're gonna confirm that everything is okay and as you can see now uh, the Visual Studio and Perforce are working together and the bindings has been correct. Well, hopefully this video was useful and thank you very much.